So here we're told that t is a list of 100 different numbers. I think initially I got stuck on this part, uh, the, the, the part about different. And the key thing is that they're not restricted to integers. They have to be distinct. Uh, so I think I was probably thinking in terms of integers and they have to be between 0 and 50. But they just are distinct numbers. They could be 1.2, 3.78, so any of those. Now we're told that number x is greater than 60% of the numbers in t and y is greater than 40% of the numbers in t. And we have to compare x minus y with 20. So I'm going to try to make this number as small as possible and then try to make it as large so that I can see if I can exceed 20. So um, what I'm going to do is to make y as small as possible. So I can take numbers um, greater than 0, slightly greater than 0, so 0 0.1, 0 0.11, 0 0.12, so on and so forth. I can pick as many numbers, um, the first 39 numbers, and um, I can pick, uh, say, say the last one is 0.98, and, and let's make this 40, actually. And so we're told that x, y is greater than 40% of the numbers, and we can make y to be 1 in this case, which would be greater than 40 of these numbers. Now I'm going to try to make x also fairly small so we can keep pushing. Um, we can go from 1.01, 1.02, the next 20 numbers up to 1.98. So now we have 60 numbers here. And then the remaining 40 could be anything. 13.7, so on and so forth, and 48.5. And x is greater than 60% of these numbers, so we can set now x to be 2, because that would satisfy this condition. Now, x minus 2 is 1 in this case. So here, quantity b is greater. Now, the question is, can I make um, x minus y greater than 20? So we'll, we'll keep y at 1, and what we can do here is to jump straight from 0.98. I can jump to anything. I could jump to uh, 40.1, 40.11, 40.12, 40.13, 40.14, 40.15, 40.16, 40.17, 40.18, 40.19, 40.20, 40.21, 40.22, 40.23, 40.24, 40.25, 40.26, 40.27, 40.28, 40